installing ThinPrint on your local computer. In order to print in dealership software, we must first install ThinPrint. You can download ThinPrint right from our website if we open up the browser and go to dealershipsoftware.net. If we go down and hover over Support and then click on Software Installation. In this section we find our links for installing ThinPrint. It's very important to select the appropriate operating system and also the appropriate system type. If you're not sure of the operating system or system type, we can easily find out by going to the Start, go up and right click on Computer, and click Properties. Here we can see our Windows Edition, Windows 7 Professional, and we can also see our system type, 32-bit operating system. We can X out of here, and now we know that we're running Windows 7 32-bit, so we'll be clicking here. Windows XP is most commonly 32-bit. Our executable here will work for both 32 and 64-bit. Now before you start your installation, we highly recommend that you click here to download a full set of instructions on how to install ThinPrint. Let's click and take a look. And here we have step-by-step -step instructions. You can print these out and go step by step to ensure that you don't miss a step. Now we can click on the link and start installing ThinPrint. Click on the Run button and click Next. Accept the terms. Click Next. Here we're seeing the folder. If you want to install to a different folder, you can click Change. This looks fine. Next. And now click Install. Installation successful, and we click Finish. The next step is to set the printers you will be using when you log in to dealership software. Go down to Start, click on All Programs, then click on Print Client Windows. Click on Configure. This brings up the Print Client Manager. We're under the Setup tab. And here you want to make sure that the Use This Printer button is selected. Make sure the correct printer is in the drop-down. And also we want the Default at Server box checked. Go up and click on the Assignment tab. Here is if you have more than one printer. For example, in sales you might have an everyday printer. Some will have the Epson for parts and service. You might have the Zebra printer. You might have a receipt printer. Basically, you check the box of the printers you want to see when you log into the server. Down here we have the Enable Sending Properties. And this box only needs to be checked for your sales manager's F&I people. What this means, if you're using the Epson printer, you want this box checked. Otherwise, we can uncheck the box. Now that we've determined the printers we want to see when we log in, we can click OK. Lastly, if you're working in the service department and you need to print barcodes, you will also need to run this executable for barcode printing. Again, you want to click on the appropriate edition. We're going to click Run, no need to save. Next, accept the terms. And click Finish. And that's it, installing ThinPrint on your local computer.